Thing. Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! We are not afraid of a trade war. That was the tough response from China to the latest threat of tariffs issued last night by President Trump. He's told his officials to identify tariffs on another $100 billion of Chinese imports, on top of the $50 billion he's already got in his sights. Our economics correspondent, Helia Ebrahimi, reports. In the latest salvo in this escalating trade row, China has vowed to fight back at any cost, risking further reprisals from the White House. But China's president, Xi Jinping, is unlikely to be bowed by more threats. A ruthless strategist, Xi has accumulated more power than any other Chinese leader since Chairman Mao, and he got there by playing the long game. You know, this was going to be my remarks. It would have taken about two minutes, but <laughs> that would have been a little boring. A little boring. A bit different to the New York property baron who seems to make things up on the fly. Last month, Trump surprised even his own staff by announcing tariffs on Chinese steel were going up. China responded more symbolically at first, announcing higher levies on $3 billion of U.S. imports. But the list included pork, China's most important meat, and hurt one of China's own companies, which happens to be America's largest pork exporter. The message? China is willing to take the pain. In just 24 hours, both China and the U.S. ramped up hostilities by slapping on new taxes for another $50 billion of goods each way. Trump then declared he may increase this to $150 billion. We don't want a trade war, but we are not afraid of such a war. The question is, who has more to lose? China exports $505 billion to the U.S., while America only exports $130 billion, leaving a U.S. trade deficit of $375 billion. Many economists worry it is consumers who will bear the brunt of tougher trade restrictions. Both economies are, are fairly well joined at the hip. They, they trade significantly with each other. So I think both stand to lose significantly, but not just those economies. It will be a loss for the whole global system if this escalates. That was the view at least of Gary Cohen, seen here nodding away before the former Goldman banker quit as Trump's key economic advisor. Of course, some suspect that behind the scenes, the world's two superpowers are bargaining over more than just trade not least the future of North Korea.